Snap.fm, 247.com. Tune in, iTunes. Find us all over the place at JiggyJagwire.com. That's J-I-G-G-Y-J-N-G-O-Y-R.com. Twitch live stream each and every Sunday. Talk America live each and every Saturday. The mix on Tuesdays. And we have got a great segment coming up here in just a few moments. But before we do that, let's tell you about one of our fantastic new marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Do you need help moving in the Pittsburgh area? We've got a lot of folks in that area that listen to the broadcast and they need help. Call Pratt's Moving at 412-223-7096. Or visit the website, prattsmoving.co. You rent the truck. We'll move your stuff. It's Pratt's Moving, 412-223-7096. And tell them, you heard about it here, Transmedia Worldwide. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> it is the world famous Cheeky Chaguar Radio Broadcast Wednesday edition as we move forward here. JiggyJaguar.com, iHeartRadio, AMFM, 247.com, KFRK, and Denver, among many others. We have got a <laughs> an interesting show we want to talk about today. We recently applied for, <laughs> once again, another radio situation. We applied for a gig at a place called WHTC, 1450 AM and 99.7 FM, out in some place called Holland, Michigan. I always love these places. Here's their logo. Well, it's, it's the folks that bring you Midwest Communications. Yes, we love Midwest Communications. Oh, Tally ho I found some stuff that we're going to play here in a few. Well, Midwest Communications, of course, a little bit about these folks. They, uh, they always have you, when they place the ads on the Internet, you reply to them. You say, they always want your resume and all the stuff, traditional stuff that, that job people want. And then they send you this personality profile. <laughs> That's like what you to fill out. What would you say your weakness is? What would you say your strength is? You know, stuff like that. Uh, then they have this application that they want you to fill out. Now, essentially what they're doing is they're, they're doing two things. They're trying to fill their equal opportunity employment. They're also trying to... <laughs> they're also trying, I guess, to hire people. So they had this position come open, WHCC. I applied for this position. I had exchanged a few emails. I got a call one day while we were on the air. I just went to commercial. And the scheduler calls me. I'm assuming HR or a secretary or something. It's radio, so probably she's the secretary, the HR, the traffic lady, and uh, makes the coffee. Because everybody in radio does 65 jobs. Because radio stations are too goddamn cheap to pay... Uh, people because they're not making any money so she has me do this interview with this Kevin guy now I've talked with Kevin in the past I've done one interview with him in the past for another station uh, I didn't get that job either. but uh, <laughs> so so Kevin was gonna call me so Kevin did and had an interesting conversation with guy enjoyed chatting with him but one of the things that they say in their ad is they want, and you've got to see this. i got to pull this up on TeamViewer. You've got to see this because this is just, this is typical radio. This is exactly why radio, in my opinion, sucks. <laughs> I should say radio. I like radio. I like the appliance. But I'll tell you, they just don't get it. They talk in their ad that they need someone who knows how to do social media. They're like, we need you to be able to do social media. So I immediately start thinking, oh, 
So like we're doing, where we do our interviews, where we do our news coverage with Facebook Live, all these things. Now, their definition of radio, a little bit different than what I determine as radio. You've got to see this. If you're watching us on the live stream you've got to see this gary stevens idiot this guy has a series of videos oh my god he needs to get a selfie stick first of all um he thinks he's something you look at that photo of him on his uh gary stevens whtc deal uh he thinks he's a big deal he thinks he's a big star so Facebook, of course, has quit on the production computer. Shocking. Shocking. Facebook just really sucks, period. <laughs> and I'll say that as someone who broadcasts on Facebook, Facebook Live. Um, so the Scary Stevens guy, he thinks he's a real big freaking deal. And so he does these updates and... Good Lord, come on, guys. Come on. Facebook's not responding. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to play Gary's stuff. So, it's basically him with his phone, and he's doing this, you know, and it's shaky and all that. And he gives a preview, and he did all this stuff. It's, it's, it's not social media. It's him talking into, because radio people don't understand social media. That's the problem. <laughs> so, I do this interview with this, with this Kevin guy. And, nice guy. Um, but it's another one of these situations like it was in Chillicothe. Where this Gary Stevens is doing this news broadcast in the morning. This uh, news and information thing. It's another one of these news and information things. Where you're doing the Michigan sports update and the obituaries and this stuff. And it's not an actual talk show. Even though that's what they're hiring for. And no one's actually doing any actual talking. <laughs> so they even sent me the logs to prove my point. That they're not doing any talking. So, I didn't get the gig. Shocking. But it was another one of these Chillicothe situations where the guy uh, is tired of getting up in the morning at 5 a.m. He's hosted a talk radio program. He's filled in on that. He wants to do that. He's kind of been moved into the PD position. So, he's done with all this other nonsense. So they wanted to bring somebody in to take the stuff he doesn't want to do. <laughs> That's fine. So we did the interview. I was really excited when I thought it was going to be Talk of the Town. They had a local uh, program called Talk of the Town. Of course, you know, it's some, some, you know, BS, you know, name or whatever. And I thought, you know, you could auto book that. It would, you know, it would all work. But come to find out, uh, it wasn't. It was for a local yokel uh, news and information thing. What I think is funny is that they go, well, it's, uh, it's news talk. It's news talk. And I'm like, no, it's news and information. That's what it is. It's news and information. That's it. But, <laughs> it's a hell of a deal. So, we're going to do this. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, we have got more on the other side. Citizens disability. 